it's all 988 or the 988th day of the mission and communication with NASA has been re-established after Mars went behind the Sun and what's called a solar conjunction. Perseverance has been imaging the ground, observing dust movement and taking this short sequence of images during the conjunction. Ingenuity has been doing the same thing back on Earth. Groundbreaking research LED by UCLA and the University of Oslo confirms through radar imaging that the Jezero crater is an ancient Martian lake. A discovery that significantly advanced. This is our understanding of ancient Mars. Between May and December of 2000, 20 to Perseverance, drove from the crater floor toward the delta. During this time the rover performed radar scans, which have been analyzed and indicate distinct sediment, deposition and erosion periods. This AI interpolated video created partly by UCLA shows some of these drives. Perseverance looks around from its conjunction parking spot. NASA plans to eventually send the rover out of the crater to explore parts of Mars that no rover has ever seen. But first Perseverance will get closer to the ancient river channel, which we can see has carved its way through the crater rim Meanwhile, Ingenuity takes off for flight number 67 and captures two stunning images. This image shows the floor of the ancient river channel with the banks of the river clearly visible. Flight 67 takes Ingenuity squarely into the Naretva Valley River Channel. Meanwhile, Perseverance is traversed back to a region known as Narlu Bay close to the channel. The rover cannot enter the channel directly, as the deep sand dunes pose a hazard. However, the view from here is excellent. The terrain here is hilly, and has a nice mixture of dunes and rocks. There's a mixture of older bedrock and more recent, smaller stones, which could have been transported here by water in the past. Perseverance spots some exciting rocks in the distance, sitting atop a small ridge. The rover uses its supercam to get a better look. Some of these look like the flow of running water, could have carved them, and to their location on the bank of an ancient river. It does make sense maybe one day. We will see fossilized remains in one of these supercam images. After celebrating 1,000 souls on Mars, the NASA team is pushing Ingenuity's limits. Ingenuity is ordered to fly at a record speed of 10 meters per second, or just over 20 to miles per hour. The flight lasts around two minutes and goes down the channel and back again. Interestingly, NASA engineers deliberately program a nudge into the flight to see how the helicopter reacts when destabilized at a high speed. Ingenuity passes the test and takes lots of color images. This image in particular is incredible. We are looking upstream at the Naretva Valley River channel. The banks of the river are clearly visible and the crater rim can be seen on the left in the background. Meanwhile Perseverance uses its gaseous dust removal tool on a nearby rock after blowing away the dust, a purple-colored coating is revealed. Just beneath the surface this has been seen before. And we're still determining what it is. But it only occurs on the surface of rocks. Not within them. What looks like Halloween crystals are also present. We found a lot of these in this area. On Sol 1007 Ingenuity takes off for Flight 69. It's a replica of the previous flight, with another artificial nudge from NASA. Although destabilized, the helicopter passes the test, lands in the exact same spot it took off from, reaching its record speed. The color images are almost identical to the previous ones, giving us a good look at the surface of Naretva Valles and another great shot looking upriver. 
After landing Ingenuity takes an image of the ground. You can see the foothole, where the helicopter was positioned previously. This shows just how well the landing software is holding up, allowing the helicopter to land very precisely. Meanwhile, Perseverance is exploring the carbonate-rich terrain. At first this rock looks like a series of steps but on closer inspection however, it's just another fractured piece of bedrock. The rover gets a closer look. Once again the rock is very knobbly. This is common in this area. Ingenuity takes off again for flight number 70. An easy going flight to reposition the helicopter further upriver with a maximum speed of 3 meters per second. Ingenuity takes another stunning color image looking directly up the Naretva Valley's river channel. Meanwhile, Perseverance comes across something incredible. It's a piece of multi-layered debris from the sky crane explosion. We've covered this in other episodes, but there's something very unique about this particular piece. This is likely the same piece of debris we've spotted twice, and it appears to be following the rover. The size and shape of this piece seem to be very similar. This map shows the locations where we have found this piece of debris. The debris is moving northwest, indicating the wind is moving in this direction. Perseverance uses its gaseous dust removal tool on a nearby rock. The rover uses its Watson camera to get a better look. We can see the strange purple coating present again. However, there's a problem. Another one of Perseverance's cameras isn't working correctly. The Sherlock camera, which is similar to Watson, has its dust cover stuck. Sherlock also contains the rover's laser, which disables its ability to zap rocks. Unless the team at NASA can open, that does cover. While the engineers look into the problem, Ingenuity takes off for Flight 71. NASA has ordered the helicopter to fly further upriver. However, Ingenuity loses contact with Perseverance upon takeoff. The helicopter carries on and should fly without being connected to the rover. However, midway through the flight, Ingenuity performs an emergency landing. Because there was no contact with the rover, we can't see the flight images, therefore don't know what happened. Could this be related to the NASA team, pushing the boundaries on previous flights? After re-establishing contact with Perseverance, Ingenuity sends back some images of it, safely on the ground in this image. You can see the large imprint in the sand left by Ingenuity's foot, and a spray of dust consistent with a hard landing. The team at NASA isn't sure why the emergency landing occurred, but they schedule another up and down flight to check the helicopter systems. Meanwhile, Perseverance is analyzing its Sherlock malfunction. In this image, we can see the dust cover in its closed position. Also the high level of dust accumulation around. The instrument should be noted. Could this be the cause of the malfunction 